What's going on guys? It's Lawrence from Robert Cosplay. It's been a while. And I always say that, but yeah, it's been a while. If you guys haven't checked out my Deku short film yet, definitely check it out. It was very challenging to do this project on my own. So I'm gonna go over this behind the scene on how I shot it myself. So maybe you guys can feel inspired and do something with your own cosplay. So if you haven't seen the short film yet, it basically takes premise in basically the state we're in, which is limbo and quarantine. And the reason why I did that was actually the idea was birth in the year 2020, where we had a lot of depression and isolation. So that's where this thing came about. I wanted to capture the element that we were all going through and I wanted to connect with the audience, you guys, through this short film and not only connect with you guys, but also leave an uplifting message so that you guys can feel inspired and hopefully look forward to the end of quarantine. So that was the purpose of this film and I think I captured that, or I think I delivered that message. But the challenge for shooting this, which I gave myself, was to shoot it myself in isolation and on zero budget. So I had to use whatever I had already and whatever was around me. So let's do that. So for this project in which I filmed myself, you definitely need a tripod or something to hold up your camera. You know, you can get really creative in stack boxes and just put your camera there. If you do that, that'd be super cool. <laughs> Points for creativity. I self or remote control, Bluetooth remote control. So you can hit the record button without running to the camera and running back like I did when I did the sterile case scene because I totally forgot this. So I had extra laps to do when I was doing that scene. And of course your camera so you can use whatever you want. If you're using one like me, I have a DSLR. So it has lens choices, but I know the new iPhones are pretty sick. They're pretty dope. I haven't used it yet, so I can't say much on that. But I used my Canon 60 Mark II, which is my vlogging setup. But I used the different lenses I had, which was the 85 millimeter and the 50 millimeter. There's a lot of information on which one to use and for what uh, kind of story you want to tell. For this short film, I shot a little bit of this 50 millimeter and I have some scenes right here for you guys to see. But I also I end up shooting most of the uh, scenes with the 85. I just like how it punches in uh, on me, which is the subject, and without making, it kind of makes the image more, it makes the scene, I think, more intimate, but without being, without losing like the space around me. The 50 was a little bit uh, more of a flat profile. Um, it could just be the, I'm not sure. This is just a different brand that I have. So it could just be a cheaper glass. I'm not sure yet, but these are the two I used and I ended up using the 85 millimeter. For future products, I might play around with something else, but I also shot it at a focal length of 1.8. And what that does, like I said, there's a ton of details on lens and depth of field, but the 1.8 gave it a nice shallow depth of field. Like I said, it separates the subject from the background and it allows the audience to see basically like what's, what should what they should be focusing on so i did a lot of that and the last thing is lights and i'm using this light right here because you guys can see the soft box i have but that soft box it's a luxury item you don't necessarily need it and i only used it for two scenes and these are the two scenes that i used it for so you see the opening scene with me next to this you can call it the all might all might shrine uh i used it just to kind of fill the back of me because in complete darkness it was just completely black or not completely black but there was a lot of details missing so having that soft box in there and being able to control it was really nice and i used it in the workout scene which was in my garage and the only light that was going through was the sunlight which was going through the windows of the garage but it was it was one of those cloudy days where the the day the night the the light would change or like clouds would go over the over the sun. So I couldn't have, I didn't have complete control over it, but since I had the soft box, I was able to adjust and fill in whatever light I was missing so that the scenes could look kind of consistent. And so, like I said, it's just a luxury item. If you didn't have it, then, you know, it's not the end of the world because the rest of this, the rest of the movie was shot, or the rest of the film was shot without the key light. So let's say you don't have a soft box and that's perfectly fine. The two things that you need to take away from lighting is these kind of, I need to look up this term and I'll put it right here. But you need to have some of those lights and using natural light. So window light, knowing what time of day to shoot. I was lucky because I shot this in the beginning of January. So it was cloudy 
there's a lot of overcast. And what that means is you have very soft, diffused light coming through from the sun. And that's how I was able to shoot the stereo scene. And it was perfectly well lit. So when it got to the top of the roof, you guys can see in this scene, I loved it. And it was just serendipity, I got lucky. <clears throat> because if it, if it wasn't cloudy, the building, you see, I don't know how many of you guys looked up Helm Building, but that building would be super overexposed, probably wouldn't be able to see me. I would have harsh shadows like raccoon eyes and all that, because it was around the afternoon when I shot the scene. But because it was cloudy, it was just perfectly diffused light and it was well lit and I was able to capture all that. Um, so taking advantage of the time of day when to shoot is something you need to keep in mind. Next scene is golden hour. So if you guys don't know golden hour, that's just, that's around the time you're about, the sun's about to set and it has a nice orange color that's peeking through. And that's what I use to shoot this final scene. And I just loved it because the, I guess the glow, it gives the subject, really gives it that contrast, makes it pop off in the background. And that's what I did right here. It gives it that, it gives it that, mm, epicness. It gives it that epicness. It really does. And like I said, it wasn't really planned for. I just kind of knew what time of day to shoot. And I went out and recorded and I looked at the scene and I was like, ooh, this is good. Definitely do more of this. So that's something I want to share with you guys. So takeaway message is take advantage of cloudy days. So if you can't get up, if you get up early, it's, it's okay because the sunlight's not too harsh. And uh, then golden hour. Or if you have an overcast day, then take advantage of that because you have a really nice, soft, diffuse light. Okay, so we're almost done here. So once you have your equipment you decide to shoot with and you have your lighting down and you get your scenes, now you gotta put your story together. And how do you do it? So I use Adobe Premiere, which is a movie editor. Uh, that's, that's what I use. I used to use Movie Maker. <laughs> Those are the days. If you can afford Premiere, it's super worth it. I know some people use, what's the, what's the Apple version? Uh, okay, but I'll put it right here too. I can't think right now. <laughs> but you can use whatever movie uh, editing software you want. So another thing that you probably notice is the music choice. So what I like to do is when I make music, well, I don't make music. But what I like to do when I tell a story is I definitely like to play it according to the music and a lot of the sound effects. So a lot of the music and sound effects that I use, it comes from Epidemic Sound. So I'll link down below, you guys can check it out. It is a sound and music library that I subscribe to every month. And I use it for my vlogs, you guys have seen that before or heard it before. But for this particular project, I had gone through a list of songs already that I liked and I thought was pretty cool, but I had to just listen to them over and over to see which one had the right like pacing and tone. So let's just listen, listen to some of them right now. So here we are. Mm. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> and that was one of the tracks. Uh, here's another track I was just playing with. So that's something that I thought was really good. It was really uplifting, but I kind of had like a darker mood behind it. So it wouldn't work for the story, it probably worked for the credits, but um, you know, eventually. So that's why I went with that one. Yeah, and it took a while. I definitely had a bunch of other songs you guys can see on this list. Um, but yeah, I kind of drew my inspiration from the music I had already. I didn't. It's not a score because a score is when you when they when the artist makes a music a track according to whatever is on the scenes that they have. But this is like the opposite because I had the music that I had to work with. So 
I, uh, because I don't make music, <laughs> I'm not that talented. I had to go with this, and I love this track. And you guys can see, like, as you, if you watch the short, it's the beat. It's like dun 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 dun. It's like ta 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 ta. And the pacing started off slow, kind of like you know, you don't know what's going on, and it kind of builds up. And so this track did it for me. So I went with this, and I, I love the way it turned out. <clears throat> so if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, uh, ch check out Epidemic Sound. I'm not sponsored by them, but definitely check it out. They're a good uh, music library. Okay, so that's basically how I film myself, and hopefully you guys can learn something, and you guys can take this away, and film your own stuff with your own cosplay. And I'd love to see it and share it with me, please, 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 uh, especially during this time when we can't like, interact. So the internet is the only way we can do it, and this is how we do it. Have fun with this. So if you guys like this tutorial, hit that like button. If you guys haven't checked out the short film, stuff, check it out. And if you guys are new here, Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.